Yo guys, what's up? How's it going? Today, we're looking at technical indicators on Arkimoto. Yeah, FUV. F-U-V. So, Arkimoto has a pretty good product. I uh, think about getting one, but not totally sold on it yet. Uh, my, big, my big thing is it's not really climate controlled. It's open air, which is really great for some areas, but... If there's a lot of rain, or it's really hot, or it's really cold, it's probably not the best vehicle um, until they have an enclosed version, and that's going to be coming soon. Uh, but right now, it's just like a thing for like around the beaches and coastlines, and for good weather, it's a fair weather vehicle. Unless you like riding in the rain and those kind of things. It's a pretty cool vehicle. I like it a lot. It's a great concept. <laughs> It's very small, very efficient, very light. So these are all good things that I like about it. Some of the things I didn't like about it, like I said before, it's not really all weather just yet. But I think they're working on it, and it'll be coming soon. So I'm still bullish on this stock. There's been a bit of a short squeeze on this. There's been a lot of attention given to this stock in the last week or so. But the story has changed slightly, right? So, like everything else, Wall Street Bets has got a hold of this. Said there's a lot of short interest. There was like 40% short interest. So, the stock was like 10 bucks and 8 bucks. It's a really good buy at that price, okay? Anywhere around $8 or less or 7, 8, 9, below 10, great buy. But once it got up to here up to 17 dollars 18 dollars whatever it got to it started coming back down now some people are probably taking profits probably all right the short interest is still pretty high i think it's around 30 percent or so i got to go check that again but you can see some of the technical indicators it's been bouncing around here on the stochastic it's broke below the 80 percent line which is an indication that market sentiment is turning down time to sell it still has a green. We're still green on the MACD, right? The MACD hasn't turned to the negative yet, and I'm not sure it will. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But right now, the stock is very far above the 20-day moving average, and it's still above the 200-day moving average. So that's good. Now, you can see back here, it wasn't really good for the stock right here. Uh, probably this is where a lot of the short interest came in. This is the basically a death cross and that's not good so a lot of people probably started shorting the stock and like wall street bets picked up on it pretty quickly and they're like okay guys let's uh let's buy this stock up so we can get a short squeeze so there's still short squeeze potential there but long term i do like this stock okay short term long term my long term analysis says this stock is a keeper it's in my portfolio. Go check out my other videos. Daily Options Trade. Uh, I think I might have just done a regular straight trade on this one. I don't remember. Go check those out. But in the short term, it looks like I'm not really sure which way it's going. I think it might go up. I think there might be a more short squeeze left. Uh, the stochastic does cast some doubt on that whole prospect. But these indicators, they can't. They can't go. They don't understand the news. They don't understand that kind of stuff. They just go off the technicals of the stock, right? They don't really follow that. So if there's no major news, technical analysis is awesome. But if there's major news that breaks, that could really affect the stock price no matter what the technicals say. So hopefully you guys get something out of this. Let me know in the comments below if you like this technical analysis. I'll keep doing it or I'll stop doing it. One of the two. But this is what I base a lot of my trades on during the week. And with stocks like this, it's, it's not always helpful, but it, it can be helpful. It's definitely in an uptrend. It definitely hit a high and it's pulling back. So I'm not sure if it's pulling back to consolidate or it's pulling back to come back down. Now, it's probably a consolidation for the... And the shorts are going to have to start covering here pretty soon because it's got a pretty good run it was a 50 percent right so a 50 percent loss that's huge on the books so they should be getting called out they have to cover and that's just going to drive the stock price up more 
All right, guys. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel. See how this turns out. And see what trades I make this week. I'm not sure I'm going to make any. Uh, I might. I'm not going to sell any calls. That's for sure. It's a short squeeze possibility. And selling puts after a 50% run. Mm, that's not really a smart move sometimes. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, guys. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.